Good evening. Hello. I am Catherine Garia, the founder of Unlock Your Purpose, and I am here today to show you a mindful eating exercise. So, I am an empowerment coach, a mindfulness teacher, an energy healer, an EFT practitioner, a master NLP practitioner and chakra dance facilitator. I originally come from the island of Malta, but now I live in Cyprus, so you can see my love for islands and the sea. I am a mom of a four-year-old daughter and I enjoy my garden, the different flowers, the sands and all the beauty that nature can provide us. What is mindfulness? Mindfulness is about paying attention to the present moment without judgment. It is about self-awareness, being aware of the self, but not just that, we become also more aware of what's around us and what is happening in the world. Mindful eating is about paying attention to the food we are eating. And how do we do that? We do that by eating slowly, and we eat slowly by in using all our senses, paying attention to the senses involved in our eating. In the beginning of learning mindfulness, mindful eating, it actually feels a bit unnatural because we're so used to eating fast and busy and, and a, or maybe whilst we're so busy, whilst we're doing other things that it feels like this is a bit strange. But you will soon realize how much nicer, how much more you enjoy the practice of eating. And you it's not just about enjoying. You will also notice that you will realize when you're full. You will notice body messages, that the messages that the body is giving you through the bodily sensation. You will also start noticing if you are actually eating because you are hungry or else you are emotionally hungry. So mindful eating really helps us to understand the way we eat and why do we eat and how do we eat. So eating becomes more of a healthy habit to nourish us as it's supposed to do. So let's not waste more time, let's delve immediately into a simple mindful eating practice. Most of the time in my courses I, I deliver this exercise, but I deliver it with a raisin. And in the mindful eating workshops that I delivered in the as a mentor in the Weight Matters project, I've also, I've also asked the women who participated to bring their favorite food. Because it's not, it's not about diet, but it's about enjoy, really enjoying what we eat, really savoring our favorite foods. And today, because I'm at home, I've decided that I'm going to bring something that just came out from the oven. My daughter, together with her daddy, she has been baking chocolate muffins. So they have this chocolate muffin and it really smells yummy, it just came from the, out from the oven. So I'm going to use this. So instead of using the usual raisin, I'm going to use um, the chocolate muffin. In reality, mindful eating is about eating mindfully any food. So you can try anything. So this, and I have also a cup of tea. And you can also have mindful drinking, drink your tea mindfully. But this is not for today, this is for another day. So let's start. First of all, become aware of the food that you are eating. Basically, what is the process of this muffin? I thank, for example, my daughter and my partner for making this 
wonderful muffins. I thank the earth for nourishing us with these amazing muffins. So I become aware of what they are coming. And when I'm aware of how they came in my hand or my plate, I, I become more grateful. So it is a process, really. So it's awareness, truly really about awareness. Now, with, when it comes to the exercise itself, we're going to incorporate all the senses. So we start by, actually, I'm going to, I'm just going to have a small piece, to start with the sense of touch feeling. So I'm, the idea is to feel what you're eating, okay? Now, as far as I know, the Indians have the habit of eating their foods with their hands. And why is we might think, oh no, I don't want to eat with my hands. I think there's a really good logic behind it because it, made, it makes you more in touch with the food when you're touching it. Okay? You understand if you like the sensations, it's softness, it's hardness. Okay? How does it feel, the sensation in your body? The, the connection with the food and the body. When you touch it, do you really want to go ahead and eat it? Okay, so take time to touch it and feel it. Then, you smell it. You can close your eyes and take the time. Take a deep breath and smell it. So I'm smelling the chocolate. Smell is actually, it connects to memory. So it can also remind us of something we did in the past, a memory in the past. For example, it reminds me in my younger days when I used to do a lot of baking with my mom. I was a little girl. Takes me back to that time, you know, in the oven and, choc and the chocolate cake coming out, even mixing and licking. So it brings up memories. Do you still want to eat it? Take a good look at this muffin. Notice it's the way it's formed, the holes, it has holes in it. So like, notice the holes. The different, you know, chocolates, it's like there's chocolate chips. So parts are dark and parts are lighter. And when I see it, and observe it in this way. How do I feel? Do I really still want to eat it? Now we come to eating. We don't actually put it in our mouth, we just put it on our lips. How do your lips feel? What are the sensations on your lips once you tasted it? Now, if you still think you want to eat it, you can have a little bar, but don't. I'm going to swallow it because I shouldn't be talking if I stick it, but you elder, don't swallow it. Let it swirl around your mouth, on your tongue, different parts of your tongue, and notice the different taste buds. Is it sweet? Is it bitter? Is it strong in all parts of the mouth? Just take the time. And as you do so, ask yourself, do I still want to eat the whole muffin in my case? Am I full? And then, take the time to swallow it and feel it going through your throat, through your tubes. Imagine it going down. 
And maybe you want to be grateful for the muffin, the raisin, whatever you're eating. And see how it feels. And take a breath. And then you can go to the next bite. So you see how you're eating slowly. You're taking time to swallow and bite rather than just munch quickly and chatting and watching TV and reading and looking at the phone. So this is really focusing on the food. This is what mindful mind eating is about. And because we are involving all our senses, we cannot just do anything else. We're just really focused. So notice how you feel this is the really important part notice how you feel do you really want to go ahead and eat it are you full am i really hungry so it's giving you awareness about yourself you're understanding how you eat and what would you like to eat because you might realize you don't really like the muffin i eat it because i'm used to eating it but then when you eat it slowly, you realize, no, I don't really like this. I don't want to eat this anymore. Or for some people, things they have decided they don't like, they decide, no, they like it because they're taking the time to eat it. So there are a lot of benefits by, my, by doing this exercise. And very importantly, also, it gives us awareness, gratitude, to the people who prepared it, to people who um, delivered. Anyway, the whole process that involved people, the earth, the, the, the rain, the sun. So you realize that it's a chain of events. It's not just putting the food in our, ma ma the food in our mouth. In fact, to, to close this exercise, I would like to share um, a little poem by by um, the father of mindfulness, Tirhnat Nan. And this is basically uh, another idea how we can begin to eat. And it's like a little prayer, okay? So, with the first mouthful, I practice the love that brings joy. With the second mouthful, I practice the love that relieves suffering. With the third mouthful, I practice the joy of being alive. With the fourth mouthful, I practice equal love for all beings. So we are expressing gratitude by bringing joy, bringing love, and bringing love also for all beings, not just for us and for the food, but for all beings. We are in touch with the beauty and wonders of love, life. And that, of course, gives us happiness. So we are, we are really becoming in touch with the food, where it's coming from, and ourselves. It's a wholeness, a feeling of wholeness. I hope you enjoyed this exercise of mindful eating. Please feel free to drop me an email, a message, if you wish to add something or share something. Um, these are some these are exercises that I'm sharing online but also exercises that we really delve deep into into my mindfulness courses kids and adults but also now in my new program it's a it's a new program unlock your purpose to transform your life where I I we go the, we, we delve deeper into this program about self-awareness, unlocking our purpose through self-awareness. And one of the things that brings self-awareness is also the practice of eating, because eating is really part of ourself. And through eating, we can understand a lot of ourselves, as I have already explained. So keep following me. I'd love to support you. I'd love to help you with these little exercises that really make a difference in our life and they can really transform our lives and help us live a happy, fulfilled life. Thank you for watching. Till I see you again. Bye-bye.